Hi, my name's Mrs Ashton and I'm the Head of Social Studies at Christ the King. Tonight I just want to talk to you a little bit about some of the subjects in my department, just to give you a little bit of a flavour of what it'd be like if you came here to do your studies. So the subjects in my department are psychology, sociology, business and law. Now these are subjects that you actually don't get to do until you're a little bit older, but it's just something to look forward to in the future if you come and study at Christ the King. So I'm going to talk to you first of all a little bit about psychology. So psychology is one of the subjects that I teach, so you'd see me very much uh, quite a lot of the time. Psychology is all about studying the brain and the mind and really understanding why people behave the way they do. So if you're a little bit nosy and you like kind of watching people and stuff and seeing why they do certain things, psychology is something you'd really enjoy. Um, just a little bit of an idea of some of the topics that we do. Just above me here, as you can see, um, kind of crime is one of the big topics we look at in psychology and specifically kind of understanding why criminals behave the way they do and why people do such bad things. Most of us like crime programmes on TV, so it's definitely something that's interesting there. Over here on this side of the screen, you've got a picture of a brain. So another really key part of psychology is understanding the brain, like I said before. Um, what you can actually see on the screen there is a brain being dissected. So sorry for anyone's a little bit squeamish, um, but we actually have someone come into school and do a brain dissection of a sheep. Um, so you can really get to grips with all the different parts of the brain and how intricate it actually is. We also do a little bit of biology in psychology. So again, on the screen here, you can see uh, kind of some sweets that uh, my students kindly arranged into a neuron, which is a cell which we find inside the brain. And it's just a really fun way to demonstrate kind of how uh, brain neurons and brain cells kind of operate and um, kind of to show them the direction that it goes. And yes, don't worry, you do get to eat the sweets at the end as well, which is obviously the best part. So then let's just go on to a little bit about sociology. So sociology is the second subject that I teach. And sociology is more about studying society and the world around us. So we do lots of different topics because there's lots of different things that are going on in society. OK, what you've got here is the education system. So one of the things that we really look at is education and whether there's disadvantages in it, whether sometimes it's not fair in school. And I'm sure you'll appreciate that a little bit. That happens sometimes. Um, so that's one of the things we look at and explore. We also look a little bit at crimes. So there's a crossover there between psychology and sociology because uh, crime's a big problem in our society. So we've definitely got to try and understand why that happens. Um, so again, we explore some of the reasons behind it uh, and kind of use different theories and stuff. And then we also look at the family. What you've got here is pictures of different types of families that we see in society today. So again, that's another really big part of our society. Obviously, we're all in a family, whatever type of family that may be. So again, in sociology, we really uh, explore kind of the different types of families that we see uh, and why there's so much diversity nowadays. So that hopefully that just gives you a little flavour of those two subjects. Um, like I said, these are my two subjects. So these are the ones that I really know about kind of really well. Um, obviously, if you kind of carry on in Christ the King and get to year 10 onwards, that's when you would maybe get a chance to do these subjects uh, and study them later. Um, but it's definitely something hopefully I've given you to look forward to um, if you pick Christ the King to study at. Um, if you've got any questions for me, you can obviously send me an email. My email's there on the screen, uh, but otherwise I'll hand you over to one of the other colleagues in the department. I'm Tom from Our Lady of Lords. I've studied BTEC business as part of Key Stage 4 courses in Christ the King. I'm now studying BTEC business in Year 12. The business department have really good IT facilities which help with research. Hi, I'm Lewis and I came from St. Patrick's. I, did, I studied GCSE business in Year 10 and 11 and now I've moved on to BTEC business in Year 12. 
I really love studying business in Christ the King and it's something you'll look forward to. Hi, I'm Jaden from Our Lady of Lords. Hi, I'm James from Pew Watch Primary School. My favourite part about business is bus my favourite part about business is finding out about how the world works. And my favourite part about a business is like the teachers are very helpful and friendly. Hello Year 6 and welcome to Law. This is a subject that you will be able to learn about when you reach our sixth form in six years time. I'm going to tell you just a little bit about the subjects that you will get to learn about and also through the course of your time at Christ the King because they're very important subjects that also come up in lessons through your five year journey with us. So as you can see, Law has a variety of areas that we learn about. We learn about the powers of the police. It's important to know about the police as a part of our everyday life. They give us the rules that we need to make sure that we are good citizens. We can also become what's called a barrister or you could become a solicitor. Both are known as lawyers. A barrister you will often find wearing the black gown and a funny looking wig. He will be the one that will often be talking in the courts and helping the defendant or sometimes trying to make sure that the defendant actually gets punished for the crimes that he has committed. This one here is a solicitor and he too goes to court or she even, but also the majority of their time is spent in their office dealing with their clients, writing emails, calling their clients, drafting documents. So they spend a lot of time in their offices compared to this person, the barrister, who will often find themselves advocating or talking in the courtroom. Law is also really important for our government. Lots of the laws that we have today they come from going through Parliament and we have a number of Parliament uh, debates about laws that should be in place or laws that shouldn't be. So once Parliament has decided which laws are to take place, then it is up to the solicitor and the barrister to make sure that that law is interpreted properly, that it is read properly and that no mistakes can happen. Often, being taking law and understanding law involves a lot of research, a lot of writing. You've got to be really good at your job if you're going to defend or prosecute the defendants, the criminals. You will have to work a lot. You get to study. You have to study seven key areas of law from dealing with people that have been hurt by accident to dealing to people who have actually committed the most horriblest of crimes, such as murder. Then you will have to go to court itself. And here is a magistrate's court. We have three magistrates about to listen to a trial and they get to make the decision as to whether there's enough evidence to make sure someone goes to prison or has to do community service or has to pay a fine. And you've got to investigate the evidence. You've got to have a keen looking eye. So there you have it. Law is fascinating, but it is very much about making sure that society is kept safe and we are kept safe. So have you got what it takes to study law? Have you got what it takes to be that top barrister working in London? Have you got what it takes to be that top solicitor working in Liverpool and representing your clients? If you've got what it takes, I'll see you in five years time. Goodbye.